basi tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mchana huu wa leo. Thank uh, Mungu kuweza kumwabudu, kumsifu. Na watu wameimba vizuri kabisa hata watoto wameimba vizuri sana. Uh, we thank God how he raises uh, ministry and talent. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have a new lesson today. And it's a uh, uh, Series. It, it's a series for the two Sundays. Hey, na, na, nitriya, iman. And it's about faith. Praise God. I believe that God wants our, our faith to be built this year. Amen. 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 How many people want to believe God for great things? Amen. Amen. So hear the word of God. Uh, just like we read in the book of uh, uh, Chronicles. Uh, uh, Second Chronicles. And we'll go back there to receive the word of God. So have your Bible open on uh, the Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1 to 15. Amen. Amen. It's a, it's, a, it's a big story that is a, a king of the Jew, uh, Jews, his name is Jehoshaphat. Because of his trust in the Lord, God has done great things that are not common in history. God. He went through hard times. When he needed something to do, he knew that he had to do what is pleasing to God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. He was looking for direction. When you look at that chapter 20, it talks, about, it talks about many nations coming around the, the nation of Judah trying wanting to wage war against them. Praise God. The first thing that Yohasifer does, he goes back to God and believes and trusts in God. Praise God. Tell your neighbor I trust in God. Amen. Amen. Today we're going to learn that our faith needs to uh, to trust in to, to dwell in God. Amen. Amen. Many years when I arrived here and I started driving. And I was having problem getting to the, my destination. Maybe because where I was supposed to go, I didn't know that area. So I was getting lost. How many people get lost when you drive? <laughs> Yeah, so niliko <laughs> ninapotea. So I, I, I would get lost. Na niko nina 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 watu wanaonipenda kwangu ni kama wazazi wangu ni wa Marekani. I I had people that uh, who the, like my American uh, family who love me who took care of uh, care of me when I got here. Na wakao wanaona jinsi ambavyo ninaweza kwa natakiwa niende kwao au sehemu fulani sehemu mbalimbali na nilikuta na cheo au sababu nilipotea. And they realize that whenever I'm supposed to go to the place or other place they realize that I will get late because I, I'll get lost. So one day on my birthday, they brought me a very good gift. It's called GPS. Amen. Amen. Then they, they, they knew that Pastor JJ needs a GPS. Because when we agreed to meet a certain place, he gets lost or he gets uh, or he's late. So I got to a point where I started to depend on that GPS. When I was sitting in my car, and I hear the voice of that lady, and I believe her. In one mile, uh, she would say, In one mile, turn left. Uh, turn left. Right? 
na kama hujui unakoenda and if you don't know where you're going unakaa unasikiliza you sit there and you listen Charles anajua wanaendesha hiyo matraki na wengine wanasikiliza Brother the Charles and Sam because he drives the truck and they also listen na wao wanaenda mbali wanaweza kuwa wanaenda labda Chicago they go far they might even be going to Chicago Hapo tunacho tajaribu kujifunza kitu gani? What are we trying to learn? Ni kwamba mwanadamu ana uwezo wa kukitegemea hicho kitu kinaitwa GPS. That a human being is able to depend on a thing we call GPS. Na asipotee na akafika na kusonga. And they won't get lost and they will get where they need to go. Wanaisha sifiri sana. Praise Jesus. Na kuna kitu tunachotegemea hiyo GPS kwa sababu gani? Why do we depend on that GPS? Imani yetu juu ya GPS because we put our uh, faith on, on GPS. How many people have put an address in a GPS and GPS deceived you? There's a time that it, 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 it misses or maybe it misses something. There's a year that I was watching TV it was a, a mother and a, and a, and a child kwa yamo kuendesha kuelekea west magharibi huko senza nevada nani california na kuelekea huko they decided to drive in the west of united states nevada california na waka unaoka sio kama toka state gani sikumbuki they 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 left i don't remember exactly where they were coming from wakaweka address yao wakaanza kuondoka they put their address and they started they left na unachoa hivyo kwamba hiyo gps inatumia satellite ili uweze kujua huko wapi na kukuelekeza and we know that gps uses satellite to know where you are going and where you are na wakao wameenda siku kadhaa wakafika jangwani unajua huko nevada ni jangwa so they they, they, they they've been driving for for many days and they got to a place where it's desert <laughs> wakakuta wanazidi kwenda maeneo ambayo hayana watu hakuna gas station hakuna kitu chochote they found themselves going a place where is isolated there's no gas station there's no people na wakafika mahali wakaishiwa mafuta they got to a place where they ran out of gas wakaishiwa na tena cha chakula i think they were they were out of food too na gps bado ndio inaelekeza sehemu sio and the gps was still directing them where they, they, were, they, they it's not the correct place like you know what my shayao na sim sim zao nazo zikaisha charge they almost lost their lives even their phones was out of battery lakini kwa bahati mungu vile alivyofanya na nadhani jeshi la marekani liwakuta huko liko wachukua but by god's grace uh, they, they were found by uh, police wanaisha sifiwe sana praise god kwa hiyo mtu ameamini gps labda kutoka tc kwenda nevada and so imagine somebody believe in GPS to live from here to, to Nevada. And then it takes you to the desert to the, and then it's, it, it stops there. But we continue using them, we trust them and we go to a uh, different place like Dallas. Praise Jesus. So today we are learning that our faith must be in Christ. That we need to believe in God. Amen. Amen. The same way as we sit in our car and we believe that this, this GPS is going to get us where we're going. That's the same way that God wants us to trust in Him for every occasion. Praise God. So in this story of uh, uh, Jehoshaphat, as I started, I say he was the king of Ju Judah. And I'm going to give you a little history. The nation of Israel was divided in, into two divisions. It used to be one big nation. Of 12 tribes of, of, of Jacob. But because of sin and Israel uh, the, the departing from God, dipo Mungu akaamua kuigawanya hilo taifa. That's why God decided to divide that nation. Na taifa hilo likagawanyika kaskazini ikawa ni Israeli. It was divided that the north became Israel, na ile ya kusini ikawa Yuda. And the south became Judah. Yuda ikawa ina makabila mawili. Judah had two tribes, na uh, Israeli ilikuwa na makabila kumi. And Judah and Israel had 10 tribes. Amen. So baada ya Suleiman wali 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 kuja wafalme wengi kila upande Israeli kulikuwa kuna mfalme na huko Yuda kulikuwa kuna wafalme. After Solomon after him then there became a lot of kings. Amen. Northern south. Na nilifuata mpaka hapo. Are you guys getting me? 
So Jehoshaphat is the king of Judah And he was a good king of Lord God And in North Israel there was no king that was found out that honored God All the kings that came in Israel were leading Israel Deceiving them and leading them to worship idols But here in the south in Judah there will sometimes become a good king, sometimes a bad king. But in general Jehoshaphat was a king that loved God and trusted in God. Praise God. So let's see what Jehoshaphat was going through and we'll be reading the scripture along the way. The number one, the people that depend uh, in, in God, they pray. Jehoshaphat is going through a big battle. And we're going to read again in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 1. Up to 4. Biblia says, "Ito ba na wano amuabu na wano amoni na pumoja na ubadhi wa meuni wakati juu ya ushafati vitani wakati watu wa mabaya ya ushafati wa kisema wana kuti tani kubwa juu yako watokao watokao shamu toka ngambe bahari na tazama wako katika hasoni tamari dio engedi ya ushafati akaugopa akawelekeza usuake amtafute bwana akatangaza mbiu." ya watu kufunga katika yuda yote. Yuda wakakusanyika pamoja ili wamtafute Bwana hata kutoka miji yote ya Yuda wakaja kumtafuta Bwana. Haleluya. Amen. Maandiko mazuri kabisa. Very good uh, good words. Amen. Haleluya. Okay. Okay. How many people uh, agree with me? Eh? Biblia inasema kwamba kuna mataifa kadhaa walijarikuja kinyume cha Yuda yakitaka kuipiga Yuda. The Bible says that there are many nations that came and they were ready to to kill Judah. Lakini tunaambiwa hivi kwamba mfalme Yoshafati kwanza aliogopa. The, 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 the Bible said that the king Joseph I was afraid. Lakini akamgeukia Mungu kwa maombi. But he turned to God in prayer. Na inasema hivi kwamba sio yeye tu aliomba lakini alitisha miji yote ya Yuda ipate kumuomba Mungu na kumtafuta na kufunga. The Bible said that it's not just him who turned to the Lord to pray but everybody in, in Judah was was also fasting and praying. What else is you? Praise God. Akusema hivi kwamba ah ngoja niangalie maskari niko nao wangapi. He did say no way let me, let me Let me count the soldiers that I have. He didn't say, let me look at how many weapons we have. He didn't say that let me send spies out there. Let me send them to see how many people are there and who are coming. But the first thing, in his fear, he said, tafuta mbwana he, he he searched for god akatangaza mbiu ya watu kufunga katika yuda and he he, he declared to everybody to fast uh, in judah bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen yeye anatufundisha nini what does this teachers nadhani somo liko wazi si ndio eh i think the lesson is very clear amen amen somo liko wazi si ndio the lesson is clear right hello hello Somo liko wazi. The lesson is clear. Kwamba tunapopitia shida tunamtafuta nani? The when we go through hard time who do we seek? Fano kwa wazi kabisa. The, the, the example is very clear. Hakusema hivi kwamba ngoja nianze kutumia akili yangu na niangalie nina watu gani wanaweza kusaidia. He didn't say let me look at my thoughts and see how many people I have who can help. Lakini yeye akaitisha kwamba watu wamtafute Mungu. But he ordered everybody to to search for God. Akaona kwamba hili jambo ni zito kiasi kwamba inabidi tujishushe kwa kuomba kufunga. And he saw that this is a burden and we need to humble ourselves by fasting. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Hakika umoja wa namna hiyo katika maombi ya kufunga truly the uh, unity 
in, in prayer and fasting. When God sees the heart of his people go to him alone. God says that truly there's a cry that is coming to me up, up, up here above. There's a problem that I need to intervene. So Jehoshaphat is uh, facing an overwhelm uh, Jehoshaphat addresses the Lord in prayer before the temple courtyard. Amen. Number two. Number two. Depend, dependent people trust God's word. Amen. Amen. Na kutia moyo kutoka kukwa. The A says uh, Jehaziel comes to Jehoshaphat with a word of encouragement from the Lord. Not everybody comes to you uh, that, that truly has a word from God. Some people have words from themselves. Sasa sikiliza hapa katika mstari wa 14 mpaka wa 17 sura ya 20. So I want you to listen from uh, verse 14 to 20. Uh, paka Kwani vita si vyenu uh, si yenu bali ni ya Mungu. Kesho shukeni juu yao tazameni wanakwea kwa kupandia sisi, kwa kupandia sisi. Nani mtawapata penye mwisho wa bonde mbele ya jangwa la Yerueli? Atahitaji kupigana vita, ipangeni simameni mkaone wokovu wa Bwana ulio pamoja nani enyi Yuda na Yerusalemu usiogope wala msifadhaika, msifadhaike kesho tukeni juu yao kwa kuwa bwana yuko pamoja nani bwana yesu asifiwe amen katika mambo maandiko ambayo yanapenda katika neno la mungu aniko hili na la among the words that i love in the, in the word of god this is one of them kwa hiyo wakiwa katika hali ya kumtafuta mungu na kumnulia mungu na kufunga so when they were in that moment where they were seeking for god and they were fasting ah uh, yes anapata neno kwa roho wa bwana yahaziel finds a word from god Na kisha ile neno Yehoshafati analipokea kwamba linatoka kwa Mungu. And Jehoshaphat receives that word and knows that it's from God. Na neno hilo liko linapingana na akili ya mwanadamu. And that word really uh, uh, it, it goes against the, the thoughts of a human being. Maana kwanza wana wana kwanza wanatiwa moyo kwamba wasiogope wala wasifadhaike. The first thing is they encourage they say don't uh, don't fear don't give up. Na na mimi nikisikia Mungu ananitia moyo naanza kurukaruka na sema sasa mambo yanakuwa vizuri. But when I feel when I hear God is giving encourage I start jumping as I know that everything's gonna be okay. But when we have war and he tells me don't fight uh, the war, when we go to the battle, we need to go with the, with the weapons. But God says that the, the, the war is not yours. That gives me doubt. I, I, I start asking God, do you know really what's going on? Neno la Mungu mara nyingi doesn't make sense to us. Mara nyingi neno la Mungu ai hatuwezi kuelewa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Yahaziel akajiwa na roho wa Bwana. Jehaziel had the spirit of God. Yakati zile yakati za agano la kale walikuwa manabii wanajiwa na roho wa Mungu wanafunuliwa nini cha kusema. In the Old Testament prophets will have the word of God come upon them and will lead them to say what God wants them to say. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. And those words were the what was coming to the kings and they would um, uh, work upon them. And every king that received the word of God and did what he said, they were prosperous. But it had to be the word of God. It means that the king has to work to work, uh, to work like uh, in, 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 in the in through the word of God. 
I've told you that not everybody that comes when you, whenever you're struggling that they're being sent by God. Some people come with words from demons. Some have words to, to break your heart, to discourage you. That I'm, I'm going, I have a word that I'm going to discourage them and break their heart so they don't work for God. I remember that this, this time, I believe it's the king Jehoshaphat himself. It was a different battle that they were fighting. It was uh, Jehoshaphat and Ahab. Uh, 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 and, and it was so these two kings sitting and they wanted to go to, to, to war but usually as normal they will listen from the from God first and, and we know that Ahab was not a good king and he he he, he Proclaim, uh, and he prophesied. And he brought a prophet. And that prophet was not coming from God. And he, he the prophet came that and said that you guys have, have you will be you 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 will be victorious. Go to war. But he had suffered because he had a, a heart of God. He 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 listened. And he said. He, is there really a, 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 godly, a godly prophet? There's no a prophet from God. Praise God. People who trust in God, they have discernment where they can tell the, the true and false prophets. It's people who depend on God through prayer. But they're able to filter. As 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 uh yeah like seeing <laughs> they're able to know what, whether this is coming from God or not. First God. Here I'm teaching that I want you to depend uh, on God in prayer and through His Word. So you may be able to stand on your own two, uh, two legs. There's, there's people who've been sitting in the church and waiting for the Word of God from other people. Uh, do you think I should be married to this guy? And I don't mean it's bad to ask. Oh, are you thinking that I should take this work? The first person asks, the first person asks is God. What is God? There's many things that come to us that are not coming from God, so we, we, we ended up being cursed. What is God? So those who depend, uh, those who depend, uh, dependent people trust God's word. Amen. Amen. Jehoshaphat believes the believes the word of God of the Lord and bows in worship. When the word of God comes to us, it makes us want to worship. When God talks to us, he connects to us. Praise Jesus. That when we were worshiping him and look, search, searching for him, he has been found. Amen. Amen. Number three, dependent people walk in confident faith. Praise Jesus. When you read the book of Hebrews chapter 1, 
wa Mungu katika neno la kale. It gives you a list of people in the Old Testament ambao walitembea kwa imani mbele za Mungu. Who walked it by faith before God. Na tuzungumza kuhusu Ibrahimu. It talks about Abraham. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu alimuisha alimuita kutoka katika nchi yake. The how God called him from his country. Na inazungumza kuhusu Musa. And it talks about Moses. Inazungumza kuhusu Deborah. It talks about Deborah. Na wengine wengine. And all the others. Jinsi ambao ambavyo kwa imani waliachilia vitu ambavyo vilionekana ni bora katika maisha that how they had they abandoned everything that seemed that it was okay in this life so people who depend on God will walk with confidence by faith let me tell you this my beloved when you walk according to the word of God in prayer not man, uh, human being words you must walk in confidence by faith because people who don't understand how you walk with God they'll come and criticize you do you really think that God said this? Na ukianza kushindwa shindwa and when you start to fail unaona you see tulimwambia sisi we told Na hapo imani yako inaanza kupimwa and there your faith is being tested kwa kweli alichosema Mungu ni kweli alisema that what God said really did he say it maana unaanza kuona yale ambayo nilianza kutembea katika Mungu you start you see that the things that you start walking God uh, with God ulio dhani kwamba yatakuwa rahisi you thought that were going to be easy i have a rice table they're not easy anymore amen praise god People who believe in God they walk with uh, confidence by faith. That God has said in his word and he is not a liar and he never changes. He is the same yesterday today forever. So the word of God stays to be the same word of God. Sister so may come to you they might start shaking your face and he said the word I received from God I believed it the problem is when we allow our brain to start helping us I want to make sure that God tell me to take this word did God tell me to go to this school should I really do this ministry or no? And said, come with his voice. The house of God leads the people to battle in obedience to God. We're going to read verse 20 to 23. Biblia inasema wakaamka asubuhi na mapema wakaenda nje katika jangwa la Tekoa na walipokuwa wakitoka Yoshafati akasimama akasema Nisikieni enyi Yuda nani mwenyeji wa Yerusalemu muaminini Bwana Mungu wenu ndivyo mtakapothibitika uh, waaminini manabii wake ndivyo mtakavyofanikiwa Naye alipokusha kufanya shauri na watu akawaweka wale watakao muimbia Bwana na kumsifu katika uzuri wa utakatifu wakitoka mbele ya jeshi na kusema mshukuruni Bwana kwa maana fadhili zake ni za milele. Amen. Mungu anafanya kitu ambacho katika historia sijawahi kusikia. God is doing something that in the history I've never heard. Anasema hivi kwamba kesho utakapoenda vitani, is it tomorrow when you go to the battle? Baada ya kuwatanguliza wale wanaobeba silaha, instead of putting the, the people with weapon in the front, vita sio vya kwenu, vita ni vya kwangu. The war is not for you, it's my battle. Ila mimi ninachotaka ni sifa. What I need is is glory. You people put the uh, musicians uh, who will sing for me in front. And God will bring the uh, fear that will destroy the, the enemy. Praise God. Na ndio bana nimetangulia kusema hivi kwamba neno hilo lingeweza kuwa la upuzi mbele ya 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 Yehoshafat. That's what I started saying but this word would have been like uh, meaningless to Jehoshaphat. 
Lakini Yehoshafati aliwaongoza watu katika utii. But you have suffered let people in obedience to God. If you wao unakaa wewe ni askari, so you are sitting here you are a soldier, na au na wao unakaa wewe ni mwibaji, or you sitting or you are a singer, alafu unasikia mfalme wako mfalme wenu, and you hear your your king, anasema sasa nyinyi waibaji kesho ndo mtatangulia. And he say you you singers you will be the ones in the, in the front of the line. Sijui Biblia isemi sijui kama wengine labda walikimbia labda waimbaji hasa. And the Bible doesn't say we don't know whether there was maybe some who ran away the singers. But my soldiers said they were going to go to the police and I think it is okay since it's okay with my own. I think the soldiers they say oh it's okay we we'll, we'll be in the back no, not too bad. <laughs> but the the singers they were put in the front without any weapons. Does it make sense? I think they were waking. Lakini inaonekana kwamba walikuja watu waimbaji wa T. But it looks like there came people the singers who were obedient. Na sio waimbaji tu lakini watu wanaojua kumwabudu Mungu. But it's not just any singer but people who knows how to worship God. Hata ziko ibada na ziko kelele mbele za. Because it's services that is just the noise in front of God. Mimi naamini hao waliotangulizwa walikuwa watu wanaomwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli. I believe those musicians those singers who are in the front they did they were worshiping God, God in truth and spirit. Hapo ni kwani watu wanaoleta kelele Mungu asiko If it was people who bring a uh, uh, noise, they will never been have a uh, been a uh, uh, victory. Number B. What were you that were able to see and rejoice in the blessings from the Lord? Number B. The people of Judah are able to see and rejoice in the blessings from the Lord. Let's see what happened. Verse twenty-four to thirty. Hata yule walipofika mara mnara wa kulindia wa jangwani wakalitazama hilo jeshi na waangalia walikuwa maiti walioanguka nchi wala hapana aliyokoka nayo nao Yoshafati na watu wake walipokuja kuchukua nyara zao wakaona kati ya wao wingi wa mali na mavazi na juhari za samani walivyojivulia zaidi kuliko wawezavyo kuchukua wakawa siku tatu katika kuteka nyara maana zilikuwa nyingi sana. Hata siku ya nne wakagusanyika katika bonde la baraka, maana kiti bonde the, the valley of praise, maana ndiko walipokaribikia Bwana kwa hiyo jina lake mahali hapo pakaitwa bonde la baraka hata leo. Kisha wakarudi kila mtu wa Yuda na Yerusalemu na Yeshafati mbele yao ili kurudia Yerusalemu kwa furaha kwa kuwa Bwana amewafurahisha juu ya adui zao. Wakafika Yerusalemu wenye vinanda vidubi na mapanda eh kwenda nyumbani kwa Bwana ikawa hofu ya Bwana juu ya falme zote za nchi waliposikia kwa Bwana amepigania amepigana juu ya adui za Israeli basi akatukatulia ufalme wake ushafati kwa sababu Mungu wake alimstarehesha pande zote Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Praise God kwa hiyo matokeo ya kutii na kutegemea Mungu na kumwamini Mungu the result of trusting and believing in God So there on the bottom it says that um a timeless truth timeless truth is this kumtegemea Mungu kunaleta ushindi katika maisha yote dependence on the lord leads to victory throughout life praise jesus When you trust in God, a human being may see that you are defeated. You have lost. But God his hand is not so sure that he cannot save you. And he himself knows how to bring you victory. Because many times when we look for victory we look for it in our own way. Not the way that God looks for victory for us. Praise Jesus. So we look at uh, uh, application Amen. Amen. We learn about the house of faith and Judah. And we we're talking about faith. In the lesson for today says faith beyond belief. So number one is this. In whatever overwhelming situation you're facing in life. Ya kwamba wewe hautui kitu chochote. Number one, admit to the Lord that you don't know what to do. 
Mstari wa 12 nitaosoma katika ile chapter. Verse 12 I'm going to read it in that same chapter. E Mungu wetu je hutawahukumu maana sisi hatuna uwezo juu ya jamii kubwa hii wanao tujia juu yetu wala hatujui tufanyeje lakini macho yetu yatazama kwako. Amen. Amen. Jehoshaphat continues to cry to the Lord. He says that we don't know and we don't have the, the, the capability. Praise Jesus. So we have to confess to God that we, we can't. All of us here have a certain situation. Maybe this year you have planned that you are going to come out of this situation by doing certain something. But if your plan does not involve God, you will not, be, you will not succeed as God wants you to succeed. Amen. We are getting close to tax return. They say that the, the, the money is not enough. The tax money is not enough. From this lesson, I want to tell you that do not depend on tax return. The Bible said that my people will live by faith. That money might come, but you must end up with problems. It's as if that your money and problems are waiting to meet together. All the year, everything is good. Maybe you get your tax return, you buy a car, and then the car breaks down. And you need to buy another one. All the tax return money just goes like that. People start getting mad at God and say, what is happening? They say, maybe let me wait for the next year. And all that God is reminding you that it's not the tax money that got you through, it was me that got you through. When you look very clearly, all that money didn't do much uh, that you really needed to do. So let's admit and go before the Lord and tell Him that we can't and tell Him what your problems are. Number two, obey God's word even when it appears crazy. And this comes in many ways. It might be trusting in God about education. It might plan that I want to be this thing. And God might say, no. I want you to go serve me. Somewhere where people don't know me. And he said, God, should I leave this degree for four years, six years to come and, and work for you? This does not uh, does not uh, have, does not make sense. Amen. Amen. Uh, I remember when I went to school for theology. Uh, I had friends that they came in to me and said, why don't you go get a secular degree first? Just a regular degree. And then after that, and then go to Bible school. Make sure you have a degree that you can make a living. You, you see how pastors are poor, you might go to school and do very well. And these are my, my brothers. People very close to me. Because when the word of God comes to you, a lot sometimes it doesn't make sense. The God can tell you, this person right here, right here, is the person I want you to marry. 
Well, who, 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 I, I don't know, I don't know. You're like, this person who seems like they have, they have lost their mind. <coughs> and you come to see them 10 years later. <sighs> and you say, oh man, I missed out. <laughs> And, and he comes and he says, Oh, this brother no stop. Oh, this brother, this sister don't. This is the person. But every time you're searching for God, God tells you this is the person. But somebody because they're, they're, they're shy. Uh, you see your life will be terrible. When you see the brother, the shoes are. There's people that happen. They happen to them when, when, I, when I was in Africa. And now, now they are even looking for them. Right? They said that the brother so left long time ago he is in Canada. That person that had a shoe that was, was walking like this. <laughs> and now they, they start looking for them. Are they on Facebook? Are they on WhatsApp? I, I, I didn't want that brother. Oh, but oh, Or that sister. It's my, my feel it's very good to hear the word of God. Sit with God and God will give you confirmation in the heart. Amen. Amen. Number two. Number three. Continue in regular worship. That's what Judah did. Verse 18 to 19. And Amen. Amen. I've heard this even from Brother Charles. What uh, talk about Shida? People uh, uh, might have problems. The problem of somebody who knows God and the problem of somebody who doesn't know God is different. They may all have the same problem. But the person who believes in God, they don't take that on themselves. That, that problem is being carried by Jesus. Praise God. So when you continue to worship God and search for God, God starts working with you in your with your situation. Amen. Amen. Tell you never that I want God to work. In your, in, with, your, with your problem. Start worshiping God. Worship God. The final. Watch for God to work. Amen. Watch God for work. Verse 17. Amen. Amen. You sit and you watch as God work. How God connects things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you use your head, your head gets on an end. You may see that this is a young boy and then having a lot of gray hair. It's stressing It's stressing a lot of things. Oh, stress Oh, it's stress. My girlfriend left me and all these things. At work, they said that this is the end of the work. <coughs> But when you put your faith in God, 